If you are a Firestick user, you probably already know about the downloader. That's an amazing app that you can use to download loads of stuff to your Firestick. But to download any stuff, you need to know the codes which you can use in the downloader application. So today I'll tell you about the best codes which you can use on the downloader, as well as how to correctly set up the downloader if you haven't done it yet. If you still don't have the downloader on your Firestick, then it's actually pretty easy to do. To do so, you just need to go to search on your Firestick, click on that button, and start typing the loader in the search bar. As you can see, the loader already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. We click on the loader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we need to go to settings, and let's do it right now. Scroll to the right side, click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it. Here you will have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, for me at the bottom it says, no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does? is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Finland right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta open the loader application right here, wait until it loads. Then it's really important that on the left side menu you click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, you have to click on Home and here in the search bar we will be entering our codes. And the first code is going to be 4, 8, 3, 9, 2, 7. So once again, the code is 4, 8, 3, 9, 2, 7, and then you have to click on Go. That's a code for Kodi app, which is a super popular live TV or IPTV player, whatever you call it. Now, as you can see, the load has already started. Usually that doesn't take long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. Then you just click on install and wait until the app gets installed to your device. And then don't click on open yet, instead press undone, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we really don't need it anymore on our device. So there's no need to clog your memory of your Fire Stick with unnecessary installation files. Click on delete and then delete once again. This way we are erasing unnecessary files. Now if we go to the list of apps on your device, here it is, open it and scroll out to the bottom, there you'll find Kodi, which we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. 
This way Cody is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. In this video, I will not show you how to set up Cody correctly because there are thousands of videos about that on YouTube and that will take a pretty long time. And now we are moving on to the second code of the day. The code is going to be 545293. Five, then we'll click on go, and that code is for Aptoid TV, which is an alternative app store. You'll be able to use it to download other applications from the internet, which are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And we got a lot of great applications out here. All kinds of movie apps, IPTV player apps, TV shows, applications, live sports, and so on, and even games. So now if you go to the list of apps and scroll down, here you'll find Aptoid TV. So we open it, click OK here, allow access because otherwise you would not be able to download other apps. And after it loads, here at the very top you can go through the apps and take a look at all of the top apps in Aptoy TV such as Google Chrome browser, TikTok, Netflix, Hotstar, Aptoy, Disney Plus and all stuff like that. You can even get the Roblox to the Fire Stick and let your kids play it. But my favorite part of the app honestly is the categories. Here you can browse all the categories available in that app, for example, social media, tools, video players, music and audio, health and fitness, sports. And when you open one of the categories, you'll find a lot of different applications out here. Tens or sometimes even hundreds of them. I just had to blur out my screen here because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact apps available here. But in your case, of course, that's not going to be blurry. So that was second code of today. Make sure to get Aptoid TV to your Fire Stick, it's truly amazing. And now we are moving on to the third code. The code is going to be 21254. We click on Go, and that code is for APK Time, which is an alternative for Aptoid TV. That's also an alternative app store, but they have a lot of unique applications which are not available in the Aptoid app. Here, just click on Disagree and Close, then scroll down and click on that green download button. Click on install. As always, click on done so we could delete the installation file as we don't really need that anymore. Click on delete and then delete once again. Now finally go to the list of apps on your device. There's the APK time which we just installed. And here you'll be able to browse by categories such as new updates, top APKs, Android TV, animation, APK seekers, entertainment, essential applications, free VPNs, gaming, live sports, music apps, players and browsers, premium services, sports, tools, torrent-based applications, and of course some adult apps. So this alternative app store holds thousands of apps inside and I'm sure you are going to like it. So definitely make sure to check it out yourself. And now let's go for the last code of day. It's going to be seven, eight, five, two, two. Click on go, and that's a code for IPTV Smarters, which is my favorite IPTV application because it works really stable and it works fine with the majority of IPTV providers. The download might take quite a bit if you have a slow connection. In my case, that's not a problem. Click on install and wait until IPTV Smarters is installed to the Fire Stick. As always, we click on done to delete the installation files. Here we just select our device type as TV, click on save. You have to accept the terms of service. And from here you can use the M3U link or upload your playlist as a file. To do so, you would select that option or for the M3U link, you click on that, enter the link right here at the bottom, add any name to your playlist and add it to the application. Alternatively, you can also use the Xtreme codes right here to do so, you would click on Login with Xtreme Codes, add any name to the playlist, and then add a username, password, and a link of that data you get from your OLAC provider. Then you just add a user and the playlist is going to appear. So today you learned about the best codes for download your application. If the video is helpful, make sure to click on the like button so we could create even more content like that for you. And see you next time. Bye-bye.